Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. This is a little different video and this is going to help so many new people that are coming to this platform from so many different areas. So just last week, I'm talking about just in seven days, I have many requests, but I'm just going to point out a few different ones that uh, I talk to and I, uh, you know, give suggestions and things like that just to give confidence to new people and they may not be able to contact me directly or they may not be they might not have time or what for whatever reason you're still watching the videos but you're not able to talk maybe it's a confidence issue or whatever issue it is i am going to put this out there just to help you so i have a student where um he is kind of doing his own thing right now um, and the confusion was that should he start a plus or should he go for the help this uh, entry level to specialist course that we have created now as a student you're always confused because you have so many different routes and when you go to the college you're looking at different options because so many people are telling you to do this that this that and you're always confused but remember even with the student uh, you know, we think that you are in a good position over here, but most of the time you end up being uh, uh, coming to this second um, uh, position right here. I'm putting these dots just to kind of connect it. So here's the thing: this Uber driver was also a student at one point, and he was told to do so many certifications. So when he called me, he was like, "I got CCNA." I have MCSA, I have so many, he, he even said CCNP I guess, there are some advanced certification but this person had before, but he was not able to land any IT job because he didn't know how to use his certification, he didn't know the reality behind the jobs, he didn't know some of the things that you need to know and these are not covered in the certification, so even with the student route you just end up right here or right here or right here I mean I'm not saying anything about these other jobs if you love it then you won't be even coming to this platform if you're coming to IT then yes you won't like this this is why you're coming to this IT field because you want to change you want to do something different and this person specifically told me that I wanted to do IT I'm interested in IT I love IT but I ended up driving Uber so I don't want to do this and if you don't want to do this this is where we came in and this platform is created based totally on this type of uh, hardship, this type of uh, you know gap between the IT education, and this is why we are helping so many members. So then, these are the two. That's kind of like what um, the first week started last week. I had a lot of conversation with these two, um, and then this is the one. Actually, now this one is from yesterday. I had a lot of conversation with the student one. Uh, and uh, also the customer service one so as a student you know you definitely want to see if you really like this type of job I mean this is something that we don't see when we go to college right nobody shows you a real world like 10 6 7 different scenarios that hey this is what you do at work this is what you're going to be dealing with this is how things are going to be and then I will immediately decide right there if I had that opportunity that either I want to go to this career or not a lot of time we spend so many years so many months just messing around but at the end we find out that we just wasted that whole years or a lot of education there you may not even learn anything and then at the end, you decide that this is not what you wanted. The first day you go to a job and then you spend like six months and you're like, okay, I'm, I'm changing this because this is not what I wanted. And to me, that's kind of like a waste of time. You do you do learn a lot of things in these in the, all of these uh, years. But, you know, if you had to change everything upside down, then I think that's not a good thing. So... I won't go into very detail of why the re what's the reasons and all that kind of stuff. Like I said, I mean, it can be a totally different reason for you, but we're just talking about IT over here. So I tell this student that, hey, you know, don't get stuck in A+. A+, is good for you. Learn it wherever you can learn it from. I told him the site too, professormesser.com has the best uh, education. We even provide our courses in premium ones from our different partner. 
But I think ProfessorMesser.com is also a really good site, free. So you should learn all of that stuff, but it is not going to help you perform any better in the job if you know A+. Plus. I mean, like I, like I said, this person have A+. Plus. This person have, even have better certification, but he still don't know how to use things. He, he doesn't know how to land these jobs with these certifications. So you don't want to end up like that. So any student listening to this video, you don't want to end up by just going to certification without knowing how to use it. That is the key right there. I don't care if you're learning it from this platform or are you learning it from your teachers or from your friends. But when you do certification, do ask them, can you tell me how can I use this in a real world scenario space? Like can you, when you do this lab or whatever you're doing, how can you use that? What kind of calls are you going to be getting from people so for you to utilize that? And this is where you're going to be able to use these certifications. To the Uber driver, now I'm going to come back at the end and how you're going to all of you are going to start from one place but if you're in a different situation you, you that's gonna be like another category right here just just imagine yourself like right here like you're you're doing something else accounting you're coming from military whatever just put yourself in there all of you are going to come to one place if you're going to from this uh, platform the Uber driver with so many certifications, I suggested that why don't you try the first go to the help desk to entry level specialist course, which is this one. Now, this is not going to be for everyone. Okay. Why I'm saying that is that this person already know a lot of basics. He knew how to do VMware. He can create networks and things like that. He just needed to see the reality behind it. You know, if you can what am I going to see like wh how am I going to work I just need some visuals you know so this is for this person for this type of person for this type of people all you need is confidence you just need to now at this point kind of go out and apply for jobs and then first try to learn how can you use the certification in a real world so this is the section that you really want to see because this is where you're going to see some real world example and then there's a, a, a specific course on real world examples also now the whole course is based on real world examples as you can see desktop imaging software deployment every single thing you will see a video there that is kind of like i either showed in a real environment or i have explained it in such a way that i am explaining everything in a real world scenarios now this is i recommended this to this person because he knew a lot he had a lot of certifications and i told him why don't you give it a try for free finish the course for free uh, and these videos may be outdated, but still they are very powerful. Then, then give it a try. But then other ones, for example, the student, the customer service one, and or forty, uh, and the military ones, and then so many other people that have asked. I didn't suggest it this course because we have changed that. You know, we we now give you so much that we want you to take benefit out of our membership, and that's where people pay. But you know, it's a reasonable amount of pay for something that you are going to use for almost all of your year like the whole year well, even if you land a job you're still going to need this because you want to expand you want to advance your career so where do you start i recommended a lot of people that if you're starting first you need to start with the fundamental and you, you know for anything when you try to get into any career or you try to get into learning you you should know the fundamental if you click on it training for our live training it is also recommended to finish the fundamental course now why is it so important to to start with the fundamental a lot of people have questions in the beginning it is all about your questions in the beginning it's like i'm student i'm this i'm that i'm transitioning career i'm coming from a different country i need to hear something like that nobody teaches you that in in a in a when you go to the it courses they just specifically teach you on certification and this is why we have such a gap because people still when you're confused right from the start you're going to be confused even if you finish that course it is like it is like you 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 didn't actually get the point here you just went with the labs and you went with the theory you went with the class it finished and st you got the degree you got the certification but you still didn't know where you are so first of all the way i start is that i really want to get in where you are like i want to be in your position first so this it fundamental course is designed based on that the first section is extremely important and this is all free on youtube also the whole this section i'm talking about all the way down here and all the way down here just to kind of give you everything let's clear up everything let's clear this whole confusion are you a student 
are you transitioning from this career let's watch some real world scenarios introduction uh, from other people you know then you're going to let's let's talk about creating a full IT infrastructure picture in your mind let's talk about a picture let's just create something real first what, what are you dealing with what is your title who are you going to be dealing with what kind of calls are you going to get let's talk about titles then salaries then the mixture now the hybrid world now you know we're talking about cloud we're talking about virtualizations we're talking about such a mixture open free source all that kind of stuff everything is mixed in you really cannot just rely on MCSA now. MCSA will only teach you about Microsoft. That's their product. They're not going to sell anything else. They're not going to talk about Cisco right there. They're not talk. They're not going to talk about VMware when they have Hyper V. Well, we know that VMware is better than Hyper V right now uh, at this point. So they're not going to talk about these certifications. I like that, but I, I the, this is what I don't like about certifications that they are they just want to sell their own products but at the same time this doesn't help you when you go to the interview and start people start asking random questions upside down so you really need that mixture so with this fundamental course we're just preparing your mind right now just to kind of kind of you know you accept this that there's going to be a mixture there's going to be a free education that you will love then there's going to be some paid education there's going to be some um, advices you're going to get from people that are in the market there are going to be some advices you're going to get from people that are not in the market so kind of like it's a mixture okay so you see this is the course that you will start with and then we give you this partners access where we say that we're not going to reinvent the wheel by cre creating living online type of courses like how do you use keyboard how do you use google and stuff like that then you move into little technical like applications then you move into real technical stuff like computing fundamentals where you learn the technology topology networking things like that the, the whole terms and you need this base for you and then you have a hands-on lab where now you are you know all the stuff we're now preparing you a little bit like a warm-up for you to get into one lab just to kind of like you know uh not get annoyed with these labs because a lot of time when you do an it stuff when you learn stuff as soon as you start something hands-on after two tasks you're going to start uh, thinking that you know you're getting either you're getting a little annoyed with this because you're not able to follow the task it is more like you're watching a document and then you're finishing something you know that is the whole preparation and this is why this fundamental course is important then we tell you that okay after this fundamental you have two options you can either take the live training which has its cost of course i mean if there's going to be three people sitting with you for two days or five days then there's definitely going to be a cost and then the reason for this live training is that you will finish the same things that you are going to finish in a self-paced training but in a quicker way and you get certifications and you're in the market you're able to start applying for jobs like i said to so many people that there are people that with no certification they have landed a job the entry level and then there are people with 10 certification that still cannot land a job so it does not matter at this point when you land a job it is going to be first our goal is to make you land a job then then sec second goal is to for you to perform better at your work without stress-free kind of environment even if you have certifications you're still going to be stressed in, in the beginning because you don't know how you know you don't know all of these things that we're teaching you right now this is coming from people that are working in in the it right now three people four people working in their own titles for more than 10 years so it's a combination we want you to get into the it first and then we want you to give we want to give you so much information and so much tools and so much skills that you should be able to perform the entry level job with no problem and you're still then after that we we have these self-paced courses then if i tell people that if you don't want to go for the live training then you can still go for the self-paced training which is going to be after it fundamental your next step is going to be the help desk entry level to specialist course now entry level to specialist course is right here when you click on it now this course leads you to other mini courses like active directory office 365 ticketing system all of these different type of mini courses are going to come out of this course and when you you, you finish that you'll come back to this course and this is where you're getting these certifications if you don't go for the live training now this is going to take you time because it's a self-paced it's a lot of information we suggest people that you finish the IT fundamental, take the live training because you have premium access. Do you have full access to labs after that? Everything is like you. You have the access. Then you come back and you slowly, slowly finish all of this to become that full IT professional. Remember, no one can claim that you're going to become an IT professional in five days. The, the live training is going to really help you 
get into the market and know what you're doing and everything like that. But to become a full IT professional, you it's going to take you time. It's going to probably take you five, six months to if you have a really good information like this then yes, it's going to be like five, six months or four months because you know all of these tools now. You have probably worked on it. But if you don't take this, you're still going to become an IT professional, but a hard way. That is the only difference between our platform and people that are, have already landed jobs and they're doing really good because they went through the hard way they, or somebody already taught them. This is the stuff that maybe they did one-on-one -on -one with someone. But we're now teaching it to everyone all around the world. And the examples are clear. Make sure you go to homepage, and this is why I say that this, these categories are not new to us. We get these type of categories per week, different type of people, military, coming from accounting, coming from uh, customer service, coming from so many different areas that Best Buy, Best Buy to IT now, Our second job is 80, 80 plus, and that this is where we have all these uh, stories right here. So make sure you go to these stories right here all the way down. This is full of stories, full of people coming to our platform from different ages and landing jobs right here. And you go to the testimonial, make sure you watch these testimonial, get some confidence and get started. At the end, I'm going to say that all of this talk that I did, it will make no sense if you still don't go and register and, and get started. This is really up to you at the end if you really want to step up and do it practically now. That practical is the key word. If you don't do it practically, it's not going to work. So I'm not saying anything about anything uh, bad about any other jobs. But if you if you think you're, you're driving somewhere or you're driving a taxi or you're working in a customer service area where they're paying less, this is your chance right here because we have so many people that have proved it and they had ability to, to show it to us. In one, one year, someone jumped in twice and and are making the double amount right there so I'm, I'm i'm hoping this is going to be you also and i want to see these success stories uh from you also because i want to make sure that when we run this platform and whatever we do in this platform however we run this we the end goal is that you get success thank you so much